Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is PJ. I'm a fashion designer based in Edo State. Here in my channel, I film about fashion, fashion designing, fashion tricks, fashion DIYs, basically all you need to know about fashion designing. So today, I have another interesting video for you. But before then, please make sure you like, make sure you share, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. So let's dive right into the video. So today I'll be showing you how to replace your thread belt in your sewing machine. This is a new method I found out lately. Probably you just got your sewing machine and it came without a thread belt, or your thread belt in your sewing machine just got worn out and you don't have a cotton fabric. You don't have any fabric you can use to replace it. Now this is the method that you don't need the fabrics. You can do this with the simple tools you have, such as your threads and your needles. So how can this be achieved? So the first thing you need to do is to get your threads. Here I'm using five threads. So you, you want to loosen them up. Now your second thread. You're going to join them at their tips. You get your third thread. You can use them to just flow on the floor. This is your third thread. Now the fourth one. So you can't get the cutting fabric. This is a method you can use and trust me, it lasts. I the one I the one I just replaced, I used this for like eight months and it was still strong. I just had to cut it because I needed to move the machine to a different location. So this is it. Now you have to make sure it is very long. Now the next thing you need to do is to get your tape roll. Also you need to smoothen it out so that there won't be any one sticking out. So next thing you need to do is to get your tape roll. The distance from the upper part to the lower part of your sewing machine is actually longer than the tape roll. So you want to make it very long because you're actually going to double this thread. It's not just going to be like this, it needs to be thick. If you have like 12 threads, 15 threads, you can use it. But for me, I just want to make do with the fine fire house. So in case you don't have so many threads, you can make do with the five you have and just double. Now this is what you do. To this to this point, the length of my sewing machine. Now I want to stretch stretch, stretch it down a bit. Are you seeing? So you can take away your sewing machine. Not this point. The next thing you do is to continue smoothing it out. Now you can join them together. If they are long enough, then keep smoothing them out. Okay, so we are here. So this is the point. You can see it. So now you need to you need to add to it again. So this is the third time you are winding it. Smoothing that up. Get to the end of this. This is the end. The next thing you want to do is to wind it again. You want to wind it again. Now, if you can see, it's getting thicker. Or like the way it was initially. So you want to make sure there's no thread tangling. Now for the last time, we wind it again. So you get your scissors. And you cut off the excess. So this is what we have. 
we have this. So the next thing we are going to do is to start tying it. The reason for tying it is because when you are paddling your sewing machine, friction can actually act on this rope and some parts will start cutting, some part of the thread will start cutting. So but when you tie it to make it last longer, so you just tie it at different angles, make sure you're very tight, get another angle, then you tie it again. Get another angle. We tie it again. That's the reason for the excess we had when we are measuring it initially. So we have this. We are good to go now. The next thing we want to do is to run it. The next thing we want to do is to pass it through the upper part to the lower part of the sewing machine. So follow me. So the next thing you want to do is that you want to pass. You want to pass this rope through. This part, just like when you're fixing your normal thread or belt, you get so you're just going to run it through as well. So now we have this one here, and for, for my sewing machine, there's something here you need to pass it through this hole. Let's, let's continue. Now get the thread from this end and also get this from this end. Make sure they are passing the right places. Then you bring them together. Now you have them here. The next thing you are going to do The next thing you are going to do is to tie it to Tie it together So this is it, you have it like this now not to in case in case this becomes too tight for a start don't cut this yet make sure you don't cut this yet you can still tie it you can do something like this just to make sure it doesn't lose at any point you can still do this now don't tie it yet sorry don't cut it yet i mean you don't cut this excess yet Next you want to do is that you want to pass it normally. So you want to do this. So it has passed. Okay, next thing you want to do is that you want to test it to see. You see it's not very well. It's not loose. It's not too tight. So it has to be in this state. So the last thing you are going to do is you get this excess and cut it off if you can neatly if you can neatly burn off that point it's still good but i'm not burning off mine i just think it's better to leave it this way not to cause any not to spoil your work so thank you guys you are done that's it for today guys hope you learned one or two things Thank you so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, until next time. Bye.